Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Greece. In the last episode, we pushed our war uh, with the Commonwealth, and particularly the United Kingdom. To conclusion, we dropped uh, paratroopers. I think it was my first paratrop operation. I could be wrong about that. We only dropped them here in northern Scotland. Um, that was able to break their line enough to force them to capitulate. So we went through peace conference. We were able to get Scotland as a puppet state. We were able to take Northern Ireland and a chunk of South Western England. So that's something. Uh, unfortunately, India had a lot of war scores here. They were able to create a puppet out of Wales and they were able to create a puppet out of the UK. Um, but we also got New Zealand as a puppet. So that gives us a little bit more access in the South Pacific. So great. Uh, that works. Um, also, the United States declared war on Kuwait and Iraq declared war on Kuwait. So we'll see where that goes. They haven't called us to arms yet. I'm not entirely sure I'm interested in that. Hmm. We'll see. We are justifying a war goal against Egypt. Which so far, no one has decided to guarantee Egypt's independence. So that's good. Hopefully we'll be able to get that complete and declare war on Egypt and go ahead and annex Egypt. Uh, primarily to gain control of the Suez Canal to help um, establish our control of the Mediterranean even further and access to and from the Mediterranean. And speaking of access to and from the Mediterranean, someone mentioned what happened with Gibraltar uh, because I kind of forgot about it. I did kind of forget about Gibraltar a little bit. It has been added to the UK. So it's part of the uh, Indian puppet. So while not ideal, it's not terrible. And I think I have ways of working around that. Um, we'll see. We shall see. Um, still trying to work over Angola. What's our chance of coup? It's still only at 50%. They accepted my vehicle package. Okay. And one thing that I'm thinking we're going to try and do with India here. Ooh, we can grant them economic aid. How much will it cost me? One billion? Really? They have almost no debt. And they have a weekly positive balance. Well, how about that? That's a change. For once. Let's see if we can gain some significant influence over India. All right. A15. Well, this is our close air support. Uh, which we're going to move away from close air support. And we're going to start working on maritime patrol aircrafts. Because we desperately need them. Um, that's going to recalculate here in a second. Um, St. Kitts and Nevis wants to join our faction. Um, I mean... You know what? It's a potential base of operations and staging point in the Caribbean.
The Philippines is still a hard no because they're at war with um, Vietnam and Taiwan. Is it though? Is it though? It's a no for now. It's a no for now. Um, Russia wants a two point five trillion dollar debt bailout. No. At some point, I'm just going to have to try this coup. 56%. That barely gets me anything. In terms of influence. We are still trying to boost our ideology. And destabilize them a little bit. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. No longer under the effect of bureaucratic drain. We have our air force deployed. Yep, yep. Oh, there is one other thing that I need to do. Uh... Do I want to build more planes? Or start building close air supports. I guess we can. We have some in reserve. I don't think I really need any more transport planes, so we're going to back that off. Uh, can we back off anything else? Yeah, we can back that off a little bit. Okay. We don't need all of our military factories always working all the time. All right. Oh, the other thing that I need to do is we need to launch some uh, some satellites. We don't need to launch a ton. How many do I have? I have 40 of them. Uh, I guess we might as well go ahead and launch them all. There we go. Okay. What we're going to want to start working on next is our new launch vehicles. Actually, do we have the tech yet? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, we need, we're waiting for the full reusable modification for our top-end launch vehicles. Because um, there's no point to building... To building any of them before that. Do we have our top-end... No, we don't have our top-end satellites. We need to work on those as well. Okay. We're about to get the new carrier hull. 
How are we doing for Navy experience? We have 88 Navy experience. Is that going to be enough? Who knows? Why are you not actually assigned to things? Look at all these Corvettes sitting in reserve. All right. Yeah, let's go ahead and we're going to cancel that. I, I know that the Philippines will join. Kuwait has capitulated. All right. Ukraine wants an $877 billion bailout. I don't want them having a rebellion as a result of their debt problems. So, okay. Okay. And I can eat it. I have the economy for it. You guys still want to go on repairs? No. Maybe they were. I was like, why? Oh, you're not assigned to, a, to be a strike force. You're assigned to support naval invasions. Right. You need to go back to being a strike force. Not that we're actually at war. Well, we will be at war here momentarily. Um... In a few months. You see, how are we doing as far as Sam's? We need more. Very well. Uh, let's put ACBMs. Give me to my CBMs. I don't have any better SAMs than this. I want 500. Let's see. We're going to put 150 factories to work. Building ICBMs and SAMs. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Is this the one with the airport? Yes, that's the one with the airport. It's only a... F okay, so let's bring... Our transport planes down here. Alright, there's our new carrier hull. We'll take a look at that in a minute. 2015 carrier hull. We need, we need significantly updated ships. All right. Let's just keep working on the carriers. 603 days. All right. Um, reduce Poland's autonomy. Yeah, there we go. The 
the United States is asking for a debt bailout. The, the United States is asking for a debt bailout. Of 2.4 trillion. How bad is their debt? That's pretty bad. 49 trillion in debt. Ooh. It would get me 5% influence. No. No, we're going to let you wallow in debt. We're going to let you wallow in debt and see what happens. All right. 60% chance of a successful coup. Do it. And I don't think it worked. Yep, did not work. All right, well, we'll just send them some military vehicles. <laughs> and try again. Man, Australia does not like me. I improve relations. We are buying a lot of tech metals from Australia. All right, what we got here? Operation complete. Light Jet CV-1975, of all things. All right, um, just let's go for some military blueprints this time. I mean, as long as I still have the option to steal blueprints, we're gonna keep stealing blueprints. Though we might we might need to move on to a bigger target. Try the United States again. Five hundred and seventeen air experience. I think I need five hundred and twenty-five. Oh, we need to design um a ship. We need to design a ship. Let's see if we can do it. Is this the right one? That that is the right one. We're still building this carrier. All right. Uh, let's see. We want um. Electromagnetic catapults. Yes, electromagnetic catapults. 
Let's make sure it's got radar. Let's make sure it's got our integrated. It's a new. I need to better reactors too. Uh, we need the three flight decks because we can't do anything more than three flight decks, right? We need a couple of helipads. Yeah, we can't do another flight deck. I need a closing weapon system. We should not need to put the fuel tanks on here. Um, surface air missiles, not torpedoes, anti ship missiles. I think we need upgraded versions of those too. Land attack missiles. More helipads? Light guns? Anti submarine missiles? Mm. Or more helipads. Surface detection, sub detection, mine sweeping. You know what? We'll, we'll give it um, helipads. All right. And uh, these are what? Last one was, let's see, we had Selene class, we have Ares. Let me think for a minute. Okay, so this will be the Kronos class. There we go. Yep, you're now obsolete. Let's get you in there. Let's get that all set up. We're going to need to trade for a ton of stuff to be able to build that. You know what? That's fine. We should have plenty of factories to be able to do that. So we just need to make sure that we have trade partners with which we can, in fact... Oh, we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Might have to. Alright, then what is going to be Ukraine's autonomy? It's still all very negative, so that's, that's good. Wanda. Uh, Rwanda. 
Honda has participated, is participating in this war with our other allies against Oman? Bahrain, Oman, and the U and United Arab Emirates are all in a faction. It would seem that some of my allies are at war with, which is fine. You know, go, go for it. Go for it. Enjoy. Let's see. Would you take some military aid? No. Well, here's a question. How many aircraft carriers do I actually need? Because there's the Artemis, right? It's an old design, but it should still work. Unless it gets sunk. We're going to need one for this strike force. We're going to need one for this strike force. We're going to need one for that strike force. Um... So we're going to need at least... Three more. We're probably actually going to need five more. Bare minimum. We are currently building three. Uh, Angola captured one of my agents. It's been a while since I've had an agent captured. I've had some die. Um... You were doing what? You were boosting... You were doing the destabilization. Okay. Um... You know what? Let's have you take care of it. Let's just check real quick here. For my multi-role fighters. Ooh, there's a new recon tank. All right, good. That brings it up to standard. Let's work on utility vehicles. Let's build a few of those. We're going to need to get some more steel. Um, we, can, we can grab some more steel. A little bit more light metal. We can grab a little bit more light metal. How is our construction efforts going? We're doing okay. Um... Still a ways away from this... Reduce Ukraine's autonomy. Yep, there we go. There's my 6th gen CV multi-role. Alright. Should I just top this off? No, no, we're way, way behind. Okay, so. In that vein...
Let's start working on our new air superiority fighters. Okay, now I have not modified these at all, right? No, I have not modified those. So we're going to go ahead and put those in there. I need to give them a name at some point. What I'm looking for is my multi-role fighters. And yeah, we are way behind on air superiority. Um, this. Can I fully upgrade it? Not quite yet. Yeah, now you're going to start doing that and sending me stuff that I don't need nor want. Um... We saw some white strike fighters engaging in exercises somewhere over here. And you think they would have uh, got experience by now. Daily experience to next level from pilot exercises is 0% because they have lack of fuel? Oh... Hey, then? Uh, well, let's bring them back home. There we go. Now it's getting some experience. Okay. Uh, do we have anybody else engaging in air exercises that aren't actually benefiting me at all? Doesn't seem like it. Ooh, one other thing I need to do uh, while I'm thinking about it. Is I need to check your air wing. How are you configured? There we go. 52 fighters and 23 attack helicopters. Yeah, that sounds about right. Now, do I have other planes that need some upgrades? Yes, you guys need some experience. So let's bring them home for training. Good. Helicopters.
Oman capitulated. The United States. Okay. Well, we're not a participant in that war. No one has even called us to arms. So whatever happens, happens. All right, Angola. Shall we try this again? And it worked. Very good. Target, uh, their domestic independence. Can we send them some, some vehicles? No. All right, good. Well, it, it's fine. We just need to get them up to 80% and then we can puppet them. Beautiful. And India over here. Uh, you wanna, you want some economic aid? Do you want some vehicles? No. Okay. Abkhazia wants a 63 billion bailout. You know what? We'll go ahead and take it. All right, we now have 525 air experience, so let's go ahead and get that plane. A new multi-role fighter. Uh, no, we need to, uh, yeah, we need to upgrade it. There we go. All right, now I need to come up with a name for it. Uh, it's gonna be the uh, M3 something. Uh, let me think for a minute. Okay, I think we'll just uh, keep it simple and we'll just go with... Um, Prometheus. Um, yeah, there we go. And that should be the thing that we're building. Yeah, you're now obsolete. There we go. Still have to do the upgraded light jets. But we could just get the next light jet, which is just going to be a flat upgrade along the board. And Russia's name just moved. Ah, right, because their war with China, which does not seem to be going well for them. All right, but I think we're gonna go ahead and stop here. We're a little long. Um, the independence of Egypt is not guaranteed by the United States. Crap. Could I take NATO? I probably could. Do I want to try? Ooh, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. 
We have alternatives. I could just try to puppet them. You know, influence them down and puppet them as I have been doing. All right. Well, I'll have to think about it. But for now, we'll go ahead and stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.